Hey y'all, I hope you guys are taking good care of yourselves. So guys, unfortunately these days, the most spoken about topic is coronavirus and also its preventive measures. One big one being hand sanitizers. So I thought I'll just find some facts about it and share with you guys as well. Please do share any facts that you might be aware of in the comment section below. So let's talk about hand sanitizers. They were first developed by an Ohio-based company called Gojo. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, which was founded in the 1940s. It was actually founded to manufacture special soaps for the industrial and factory workers that would remove substances like tar without causing any irritation to them. It kept going on like that until during the early 90s, a company executive was reading about the increased risk of infections in the hospitals as well as a rise in foodborne illnesses, born as a result of widespread infective hand washing. So finally, in the year 19 and 19, 1996, Gojo debuted Purell, a product that cleaned hands. Instantly, without the need of soap, water, or even towels. How amazing was that? What an invention. Anybody using it only had to squeeze out a tiny bit on their hands and rub them together until it dried. Most hand sanitizers are 63% ethanol, which kills almost 100% of the germs that it comes in contact with. Other ingredients include isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol, and glycerine, which is added to make the skin feel smooth. In the year 2004, Purell became an international product when Pfizer acquired its rights, which was acquired by Johnson & Johnson in 2006. Later in the year 2010, Gojo bought back the rights to the product it had created originally. Since a hand sanitizer is almost entirely different forms of alcohol, it's quite flammable. So the next time you want to warm up your hands around the fire, don't put the hand sanitizer on. Hand sanitizers are even safe for babies. You only have to make sure to use a little amount and be extra, a little extra careful while doing so. One fun and useful fact is that in case you forgot your deodorant, you can actually use a hand sanitizer in its place. Alcohol-based hand sanitizers definitely fight against germs and end up killing 99.9% .9 of them. It is definitely a very strong preventive measure you can take to reduce the spread of illnesses, illness causing germs and can be especially very beneficial at this time of global crisis caused by the deadly coronavirus. May everyone be safe and may God make our earth get rid of it as fast as possible. So guys, if you enjoyed a bit more about hand sanitizers and its facts with me, please support my channel by subscribing to it for a variety of content. If you wish to be notified for my new videos, please also hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Take good care, guys.